Hey guys, how's it going? So I wanted to see what it would look like to turn uh, vellum into faux leather. I've never done this before and I'm trying different ways and turning different papers and stuff into faux leather so I wanted to try vellum. So I got two pieces here, do two different colors. I have my Mod Podge mixture with the vintage photo ink in it and then I have uh, my antiquing wax. So one's going to be a darker color and one's going to be lighter. So let me show you how I do it. It's pretty much the same technique for everything. I have my bottle of water with glycerin in it. And of course with this one you would probably want to be a little more fair, uh, careful when you're crumpling it because it's vellum so it's not very strong. Let's put one aside for now. Do this one first. Whoops. So just do what you I normally do. Spray it down with uh, the water. Be really careful when you're clumping it. Make sure we don't rip it. Oh, and I already ripped it. Wow. <laughs> oh well, that's okay. Yeah, you have to be really careful. Yeah, say I ripped it twice. Maybe you spray the other side with uh, water too. Like I said, I've never done this before, so we're learning this together. I mean, every paper is different, so you can't do something that you would normally do with, like, the paper bags that I usually do. Yeah, see? Okay, so make sure you spray both sides of it first because it definitely makes it softer. Yeah, so that's good enough. We're not going to wrinkle it anymore. Okay, yeah. Definitely make sure you spray both sides first. And if you're using conditioner, same thing. Make sure you um, put it on both sides first. Okay, so I'm going to do this one and the darker one first. Probably not supposed to shake this stuff. Should probably use, um, or yeah, stir it. Let's turn it this way. And I'll probably do both sides of this one since it is clear. Or not clear, but you know, translucent. Transparent, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> And just take my water, spray it to help spread it out some more. Wow, yeah. It's not going to be as dark as it would be on like the paper bag because it's translucent. And of course you can make it darker too if you want. Do more like multiple coats. Yep, so we're learning together today. So how are you guys doing? I filmed a video earlier, not making faux leather, but using faux leather that I have made because I've been hoarding it to make something. So you'll see that one soon, probably before this one. I love making faux leather out of different papers and like trying different things and learning with you guys, helping you guys figure out what to do with your leather. I have a piece of, well, the cork faux leather that I did I was figure out what to do with it. <laughs> yeah, wow, look at that. Um, probably shouldn't flip it over yet. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get another uh, cereal liner to put on the floor so I can put this one down and we can do the other one. And then we'll flip it over and do the other side too so we can see what it looks like. Okay, so same thing. Spray it. And like I said, make sure you spray both sides and rub it in. And of course, I'm going to get some of the wax on this one because it's wet still. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> and it's curling up. Hopefully we won't rip this one. Now that we know you have to put it on both sides, right? <laughs> Ooh, this stuff is curling up. <laughs> okay, go ahead and crinkle it. Be careful. It's already got some brown because of that wax that's on the <laughs> liner already. I'm one of those people, I have like a bunch of cereal liners, but I always end up using the same ones. <laughs> Even though I could get a new one. When I'm coffee dyeing paper, I have some that I put for that. So I try to keep it clean. So I keep using the same ones for this. But I can always get more from the cereal. Because I always buy cereal. <laughs> you guys do that too? You just use the same stuff over until you just can't use it anymore. <laughs> so this one, we didn't rip it. So, yeah. You definitely make sure you 
It's by both sides. But that other one just gives it more character, right? Oh, did rip it a little bit there, but that's okay. Okay, that's good enough. Okay, so this one I'm going to use this because I don't want to use the same brush that I used the wax with. I did go to Dollar Tree and get some more of these, but I need to get more ink so I can make different colors. Let's try that first. And of course you don't have to use brown, you can use any color you want. Whatever, if you have like different distress sprays or uh, re-inkers, try different colors. You don't have to do brown. I want to try black, but I don't have the re-inker, but I wanted to try like diluting um, acrylic paint because I do have uh, a couple acrylic black acrylic paints. So I want to try that. Like I said in my Amazon video, the one I did, I mean, when I did the Amazon packaging, I tried one and it just covered up everything because I didn't dilute it. So, so I'm excited to see what that other one with the wax because um, one of my subscribers said that she buffed it because it is wax and it made it look like more, give it more of a sheen. I need to ask her how she did it because I tried that yesterday with the prone paper bag and it didn't, it just like absorbed into it. So I'm not sure how she did it. <laughs> Okay, that one's good. Okay, let's go ahead and grab the other one, I guess. And maybe hit it with the heat gun because I don't have the patience to wait. <laughs> that way we can hit the other side. It's already drying. Okay, let me hit it with the heat gun and I'll be right back. Okay, so it's all dry. Definitely did not take long to dry at all. It was already getting pretty close to being done before I even hit it with the heat gun. So let's go ahead and flip it over and do the other side and see what that looks like once it dries. See how dark it gets. And then you can always do what I did with, um, I think in the Amazon one, I did like added different colors and gold and stuff like that. You can do that if you want. It's cool how the white lines come out from the, when you wrinkle it. Okay, wow, that's definitely more brown. Definitely looks better with it done on both sides. I'm trying to think of what else I can add to it to make it look more leathery. Let me look at my paints real quick. Okay, I added a little bit of this antiquing medium, which is pretty much the same thing as, oh, this is antique wax um, and nutmeg, and it gave it a little more of a tiny bit of a red look. So I can't do the other side because it's, uh, this side's wet. So I'm going to go ahead and switch back to the other one. I'm going to um, do that one and see what it looks like. That one, this one dried pretty quick. Yeah, this one's still wet. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and hit this one with the heat gun and I'll be back. Okay, I'm not sure what happened. I thought I was recording and I wasn't. Um, what I was saying was I was actually talking to myself <laughs> um, that I was going to add a little bit of the walnut stain to this one because it's a little bit lighter than I like. I like it darker and I know a lot of you guys do too because you said it in the comments on my uh, faux leather with the paper bag video. You said you like it dark so let's see what we can do to make this a little bit darker. So I did go ahead over it again with the um, vintage photo and I can always spray it with the alcohol inks too. I mean not the alcohol ink photo. Okay so I have the uh, distress spray stain. So if I want it a little bit darker, let's see what this does first, the walnut stain one. Then of course we'll have to do the other side too. Okay, let's see what this does. And then of course I have to figure out what to do with this one. You guys let me know what, like give me some ideas of what to do with this stuff. Like I love making faux leather, but I never know besides making journal covers. And I'm not, that was what I was thinking of doing with the, um, one of the cork pieces of faux leather that I did. It's like the little six by, well, six by 12 one. I was going to make a little journal, but I don't have a lot of like papers like the, for the signature to put in it. So I haven't done it yet. Okay. That made it darker. Let's see what happens. Like I said, I don't want it to be as dark as that one. I said that earlier, but I wasn't recording when I thought it was. Okay, let's see. Spread that out a little bit. Okay, yeah, I think that's good. We don't want to make it too dark because I don't want it to be as dark as the other one. 
but I wanted it to be darker than it was. Okay, yeah, that's good. Okay, now let's check the other one. I have to figure out what I want to put on it to seal it. Let me hit this one with the heat gun. Okay, here they are, and they're all done. I dried them with the heat gun. Um, I was impatient. <laughs> um, I accidentally mis made the mistake of wrinkling this one again, and I ripped it, so like it, I, you really have to be careful with this stuff. I'm sure you know that. Like I said in the beginning, make sure when you're starting to wet both sides with the glycerin and water before you wrinkle it, so it hopefully stops it, because this one, I didn't, well I did rip it there. You just have to be really careful with this stuff. So this one I don't think I would be able to use for a journal cover, but yeah, maybe I can use it for like collage or uh, I can stamp on it and use it for something. We'll see. Uh, like I said, let me know what you, you know, give me some ideas of what to do with it. I'm sure I'll come up with something, but I'd love to hear from you guys and see what you guys think what would be cool. This one looks really cool. It's like more, a lot more see-through. <laughs> Yeah, this one's awesome. I love this one. This one's, I like this one too. And this one's definitely, I didn't put any kind of, um, like I didn't top it with, what do you call it? I didn't finish it with anything like a seal because this one is already pretty much sealed with the Mod Podge, so I didn't do anything. But this one, I just decided not to. I could use my matte medium, but I don't want to use that stuff too much because I don't, that's the only one I have. I'm still on the hunt for a good uh, matte medium that's actually matte. So again, leave any comments below if you know of any that's good. I was like trying to find a recipe online to see if there's a way to make it yourself, but I can't find anything. But yeah, so I hope you liked the video and I hope you're enjoying the faux leather videos I've been putting out. Um, give me some ideas for other types of faux leather videos that you'd like to see or any other types of videos you'd like to see. And give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, and uh, subscribe to the channel if you like videos like this. I'd love to have you in the in the community, and I will see you in the next video. Okay, bye guys.